dear students you would have learnt about different food groups functions of foods and different nutrients present in the foods and the different ingredients that is involved in the preparation of recipes it does not end with this as you should know the different methods of cooking foods which is the practical application it is essential that you should learn the different methods of cooking which will help you to ensure that foods are cooked using appropriate methods to retain the nutrients in the food you must be going to the market to buy a variety of foods do you eat all of them raw no we cook certain foods for consumption why dear students because these foods cannot be eaten raw if you eat them raw they will not be tasting well you will not get all the nutrients present in them and they can also affect your digestive system hence you must know different methods of cooking different foods but do you know if the food is not cooked the right way you will lose many of the nutrients therefore you should use the correct method of cooking to keep all the nutrients safe you must also learn to improve the quantity and quality of nutrients of your food cooking makes food edible and delicious preserves its nutritional qualities and gives it new flavors fragrances and colors it also guarantees food safety in terms of hygiene by eliminating or reducing heat sensitive microorganisms and in terms of nutrition levels enabling us to inactivate substances with potentially undesirable effects there are different methods of cooking foods and in this module i will be describing about the dry heat methods of cooking the module on dry heat methods of cooking will enable you to learn about the principle of heat as a medium of cooking understand the different dry heat methods and apply the methods in your daily cooking the first and foremost reason is cooking makes food easy to digest when food is cooked it becomes soft so that it is easily chewed and swallowed the juices that digest food are able to mix well with the softened food hence the food gets simplified for use by your body next cooking improves the appearance texture color flavor and taste of the food when you cook meat or potatoes etc you will find that that the food has better taste cooking meat improves its taste flavor and color addition of spices and condiments during cooking further improves the acceptability and palatability of foods you must observe the changes that the foods undergo when you cook next dear students when foods are cooked you can make a variety of dishes cooked foods provide variety in your meals you must have eaten potatoes cooked in different ways such as pakora potato potato chat potato parantha potato vegetables and potato crispies can you list a few food items that can be made with atta yes paratha puri chapati bread naan etc so you see that you can make a variety of dishes with the same food 
Cooking helps to destroy microorganisms and makes the food safe and sterile. Raw foods get spoiled because of the harmful microorganisms present in them. These microorganisms get destroyed when you cook food. Killing germs by cooking makes the food sterile and safe for eating. Do you know why we boil milk? Boiling milk helps in killing the spoilage organism and makes it last longer. If you do not boil milk, it will get spoiled soon. Now, we shall see what are the different methods of cooking. Foods are cooked by moist heat, by dry heat, by frying in ghee or oil. How can we use heat as a medium, as a cooking medium? In other words, what is the principle behind heat as a cooking medium? Heat as a medium of cooking can be used by three ways. Number one, conduction is transfer of heat by conduct. Number two, convection is transfer of, transfer of heat by flow of liquid or gas from a hotter to the less hot part. Number three, radiation is emission of heat in the form of waves from hot objects. Let me explain each principle in detail so that you can understand the basics clearly. Conduction is a method of heat transfer and is most familiar to people. Conduction is heat transfer through matter. Metals conduct heat well. Air is not as good a conductor of heat. This is a direct contact type of heat transfer. Most of the dry heat methods use conduction. Convection is heat transfer by the movement of mass from one place to another. It can take place only in liquids and gases. Radiation is the only way heat is transferred that can move through the relative emptiness of space. Now, we shall go to the core of this module on dry heat methods of cooking. Cooking food by dry heat means using hot air to cook the food. The commonly used methods of grilling or broiling, pan broiling or roasting and baking use air as the medium of cooking. Dear students, I will brief you about each method with suitable examples. Grilling is the process of browning foods by placing them above, below or in between red hot surfaces. A grill is a specific equipment used for grilling. Barbecuing is also a grilling method. Grilling can be done as such or with the coating of oil and spices. The grilling of food can be done by three ways. Food placed below the hot surface. In this way, the food cooks by radiation and so heat is slowly conducted to the inner surfaces of food. This method browns the food faster. Food is reversed for even cooking. The second method Food placed above the hot surface. This way, food is cooked by convection currents and radiation energy. This is a more efficient method of grilling and food cooks faster. In the third method way, food placed in between grills or hot surfaces. This way, there is no need for reversing the food as it is cooked on both sides by the hot surface. Efficient browning and cooking takes place 
giving rise to delicious food. Students, grilling has its own merits and demerits. Can you tell me some of them? Grilling enhances flavor, appearance and taste of the product. It requires less time to cook. Minimum fat is used, but constant attention is required to prevent charring. But I would wish to share an important information to you at this point. In recent times, grilling, griddling and barbecuing has been in the news for producing potentially harmful substances such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines. Excessively high temperatures are the main cause of this and where different areas of the same grill can vary dramatically in temperature. With these cooking methods, the food comes into direct contact with the fire and can burn on the surface. The so classic example is barbecued meat cooked over a flame or pizza baked in a wood-fired oven. In such cases, the burnt parts may contain harmful substances. You be attentive and take care of these points. It is therefore a good idea to dispose of the burnt parts and to thoroughly clean the grill after using it. The classic grill marks left on the surface of grilled or griddled meat, bread and vegetables are not harmful however. Do not burn the surface of food. Keep the grill well away from the hottest areas and where possible prevent melted fat from falling directly onto the embers. These are just a few useful healthy cooking tips. It is also a good idea to accompany barbecued foods with plenty of fresh vegetables and lemon juice well known for being rich in antioxidants. Toasting is another method of dry heat generally applied for bread slices which are browned from both sides by keeping them between two grills. This way they are browned from both sides evenly and become more crunchy. Toasters are based on the same principle where bread slices are placed between two heating elements. Toasting is an easy and quick method. It improves flavor but special equipment is required and careful monitoring is needed to prevent charring. Now, I am going to explain to you a method of cooking which makes the food very tasty and I hope all of you like foods prepared by this method. What method is it? It is roasting. Roasting is a process of cooking food by placing it in an uncovered pan and supplying heat to it. No or little fat can be used. Roasting is cooking on a glowing fire. While roasting, the food is put directly on the hot tawa, hot stand or hot fire and cooked. Cashew nuts ground nuts, almonds, pistachios, lotus seeds and sesame are cooked this way. Puppet, meat, chicken or paneer tikkas and chapatis are cooked in this way. Roasting imparts a crunchy taste to the food. Roasting is a quick method of cooking. It improves the appearance, flavor and texture of the food. Spices are easily powdered if they are ro first roasted. Food can be scorched due to carelessness. Roasting denatures proteins reducing their availability. The method of preparation is baking. The medium of cooking 
in baking is hot air a dry method of cooking it combines steam which is generated while food is cooked a characteristic feature of baked foods is a brown and crisp exterior and a soft and porous interior cakes custards baked vegetables breads biscuits pizzas and au gratin are all baked foods baking is the method in which food is placed inside a closed box called oven the air inside the oven is made hot by fire or electricity the food gets cooked by hot air what is an oven ovens are special instruments which bring about baking of foods the air inside the oven is heated by means of either electricity or gas a tandoor heats air by way of fuel like coal or wood the ovens are insulated to prevent the outside air from interfering with the internal temperature and inside air escaping outside this way fluctuations within the oven are avoided temperatures maintained in an oven depend upon the food to be cooked but normally 120 degrees celsius to 260 degrees celsius are advised have you visited any of the bakeries in your neighborhood there are different types of bakeries in different places for example if you go to cities metropolitan cities you can see high fi bakeries with sophisticated high end equipments which are always optimized and computerized i hope that those uh, living in the cities will have an opportunity to go to these bakeries and just get an awareness of how these bakeries function when you go to the bakeries in cities you can see that the quantity produced is more because the type of equipments they are using it is fully automated mechanized and computerized which will help in the surplus production but there are bakeries in the rural areas as well as villages and small cities or towns where small bakeries are run by families or small scale entrepreneurs who just have a minimum number of ovens and they sell their products only to a very uh, closer surroundings with minimum number of quantity or not the high end packaging that is the difference between the main difference between the bakeries at different places as i told you about the packaging and labeling this is also very important because a package itself will tell about the product it is a silent advertisement so some bakeries they give more importance to their packaged foods the breads and the cakes and of course their display which you may not see in bakeries in small towns or villages so even for display there are sophisticated equipments which enhance the sales also some of the bakeries they get orders even online they have customers online and they deliver it to their own doorsteps but there are bakeries where you have to go and place orders and then you have to wait for 2 3 days you have to follow them up because their way of selling or their way of entrepreneurship may be different because of their rural areas so with all these introduction to bakeries i would say that any bakery in any bakery there are big ovens heated by fire in which 
biscuits breads and pastries are made in these bakeries these ovens are also known as batties it is in these ovens that the food is cooked in the very big bakeries the air is heated by electricity dear students you can easily make an oven at home to bake i shall tell how it can be done take an empty oil pan put a layer of sand in it and fit it with a lid heat this over coal kerosene or a gas stove once it becomes hot put the food inside and close the lid place the tin on a low fire bake food till it is light brown in color do not open the lid very often because the hot air from inside will go out and make the food dry and hard baking foods become light and fluffy example cakes custards and bread uniform and bulk cooking can be achieved example bun and bread flavor and texture are improved variety of dishes can be made but special equipments like oven is required and of course baking skills are necessary to obtain a product with ideal texture flavor and color characteristics careful monitoring is needed to prevent scorching i conclude this module on dry heat methods of cooking by making you to recall our ancestors the prehistoric men who hunted for foods cultivated and ate them raw but they could not continue the same for a longer period and hence they discovered fire and cooked their foods to make it more tasty hence you students should remember the principles of cooking taught in this module the various methods of cooking and the application of those methods in preparing nutritious recipes careful attention and preparation is required to follow these cooking methods and i hope that you will adhere to what you have learned in this module i summarize this module by saying that dry heat methods of cooking is one of the very important method and brings out varieties of cooked foods to suit your daily menu plans and satisfy your palate dear students do prepare various recipes using the different methods of cooking you have learned and impress your friends and family i hope you can use this module to also equip yourself for your career as an entrepreneur